All right. Let us look at the strategic problem of the fact that if I, if, let's just start at the beginning. If I have, let's just use the colloquial term. If I have a fight, I'm going to have only two things I can say about it. Okay? One is that it's going to move. And two is anything can happen. Okay. This is as much a strategic problem as it is a tactical problem as it is a mind problem in the Buddhist sense of the word. Anything is a lot to deal with, okay? What modern systems do is they try to artificially get rid of this fact. So you do boxing, no kicks. You do uh, a ground fighting, no weapons. Let's see, it goes like no strikes. It goes like that. Kick only this target. No friend coming in from the flank. No weapons, etc. It actually isn't dealing with anything. But the ancients dealt with anything. As a spiritual tradition, this is why Buddha works. You are coming face to face with the infinite. How do you deal with it? You have three ways. One is a cultivated body mind. So this this will go to our um, other lecture. So this is your mushin, your fudoshin. This is the unfettered mind. The mind that is not overwhelmed by anything because it does not see an infinite amount of things. It sees one thing. The second thing is, in Aikido, is this Aiki adhesion. This allows me to have, in, in here, I can deal with the infinite. And here, I become connected, inseparable from the infinite. So I don't face the infinite in an adversarial way or tactically as a game of catch up or a game of prevention. The second you do something, I'm already touching you. Whatever you're doing, I not only know what you're doing, I am what you're doing. And then the third way is that you're setting up uh, dilemmas. Meaning I am systematically taking away your possibilities and setting you up with probabilities, okay? So I take the infinite nature of this, but I make more things probable as I make less things probable. I'm no longer dealing with possibility, okay? So when he has... For example, Let's take the bottom one, the dilemma, where I take the anything and I reduce it to probabilities, okay? So he goes to do, at this point, you would ask, what could he do? Well, you, you would just run out of time, listen up. But now what can he do? Not as many things, because his balance is being affected. Because most of that anything requires his equilibrium. 
And so in your Aikido, this is why you attack his equilibrium. Because you immediately get rid of a whole bunch of stuff. Okay? So he's going to do whatever. I'm here taking his Kazushi, and now he has to choose. I can tell, or it feels like, he wants to do that punch. But he has to choose now through this dilemma does he risk losing more balance or. Does he try to punch me? Okay, now he's not punching me, you see? But at the same time, let's just stick with that one. He goes, I set up the dilemma by taking his balance, and here you can see I'm not blocking his punch. I am not guessing he's punching. I just am connected to this arm, okay? So when you see this, it looks like he's punching slow, uh, right? But if he goes, if he goes really fast, it doesn't matter. I stick to the punch. The mechanics of the punch are not there. The distance, the gap, the inertia, the momentum, it's never there because I'm not the target. I'm part of the punch. That's your IQ adhesion. So wherever we go, let's say he decides not to throw that punch, he goes for his base, keep going, right? And then I'm just passing that adhesion over and over and over again. I'm not guessing, for example, oh, when, I, when you do this to someone's balance, he's gonna wanna brace himself. I don't, I'm not guessing that. I'm just feeling that. He goes to brace, I feel it, I feel it. I'm just feeling these things constantly because I'm one with them and while I'm doing that I never let my mind go he's gonna punch keep going keep going do something he's gonna punch no that's not what happens I don't chase the infinite manifestations I, my mind is fluid he goes I'm staying I'm staying I'm staying we're just stuck the entire time okay Otherwise, you'll become overwhelmed by the infinity. You can't stay up. You can't stay up. Okay?